three, 1450 metres on the inside turpentine track and away they go and racing. Exclaim and exclude, got a very good start, so to De Bulsara. Behind them straight forward, Piers Jordan's racing for three lengths off this leader. Sporting boy on the outside is Havasha. Further back behind that one along the inside is Aluminium. Here's Rudra racing about eight, nine lengths off this leader, followed by Galantis and rocks off is the trailer. A thousand to go, exclaim and exclude the leader by two lengths. Straight forward racing second, Bulsara on the fence and third, Avasha racing fourth. In behind that one is a sporting boy, got about five or six lengths to go. In behind that is Pierre Jordan. Then comes Captain Scott racing about seven lengths off this leader. Behind that is Rudra, Aluminium, then Galantis and Rocks off. They turn into the home stretch. They've got 500 left to go, exclaim and exclude the leader from straight forward Bulsara is coming in for the kill two lengths to go Pierre Jordan on the outside with Captain Scott Avasha between runners then on the extreme outside Galantis is putting his best foot forward 250 to go Pierre Jordan and Captain Scott come together Pierre Jordan strikes the front the champion's back yes Pierre Jordan going on strongly in the grade 3 Joburg Spring Challenge Pierre Jordan goes on to beat Captain Scott Third, Galantis. Fourth will be Bulsara. Then came Rudra Havasha. Rocks off Aluminium. Exclaim and exclude. Straight forward. And Sporting Boy, the champion, is back in town. Pierre Jordan, the champion's back. Andrew Fortune for the Gary Alexander stable. Rested for 161 days after his second in the derby to Irish Flame. But he's back and down all right is Pierre Jordan. He'll win this grade three contest. Tight for second. Could go either way for second. Uh, possibly Galantis got up for second in the dying strides. Third to Captain Scott. And back in fourth, Bulsara Rudra has run on to finish in fifth position. Here's the head-on replay. We'll exclaim and exclude that all the dirty work coming into the home stretch was clear past the 500, but had nothing to offer the last 400. Bulsara, here's Pierre Jordan. Andrew Fortune asked him for an effort. He'll come and mow them down. You'll see Captain Scott the outside with Galantis, but Fortune's got to the front on this top-class racehorse, and there's lots more to come. Pierre Jordan beats Galantis, Third to Captain Scott, and fourth, Bulsara. Pierre Jordan's back in town, not that he ever left town, but uh, his fan club now, uh, it's certain to be favourite now for the uh, Sansui Summer Cup. Andy Fortune in the run. First time, do you ever get nervous? You, 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 here's a top horse, and you've ridden a lot of top horses in your time. Were you at all nervous today? Uh, if, if I'm honest, Molly, yeah, I was a little bit uh, on the edge just before the race. It's the first time I was going to get on him, and, and Joburg has got this reputation about Pierre Jordan, and yeah, little coloured boy from Cape Town comes to ride him, you know? <laughs> so, so, yeah. I heard you saying to Gary that you didn't think you really excelled on this horse. Uh, if Molly, you know, I, I didn't think it was a great ride. Yeah. I, I, was a, I didn't trust him at all. Ask the punters, they're collecting. <laughs> yeah. I know that because he was good enough, you yeah. know? I was in about sixth position, and, and the panic button was always in my here, I'm on the right place. I'm a, yeah. I saw a vessel just in front of me, and just as I turned for him, I pulled him out in a little bit of a panic stage and I slapped him. And just he just he just went to finish it off. And, 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 and of course, too sharp for him, uh, obviously. Yeah, seven yeah, yeah. And I stuck his head in front so early, and then I wanted to take the stick off him. And and, and he said, oh, No, 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 he was he was starting to put his toes in, right. but it's, it's a learning curve for me. And and because he's not used to you, you see. Well, it's, it's the first, it's the reason I moved to Johannesburg, him yeah. mainly, you know. And and hopefully, we'll be able to pick the fruit. Yeah, great thrill to ride, obviously, a horse with great potential. Like our, our jockeys, we all our lives, we, we hang around to ride horses like this. And and here, yeah, this age, I get to ride one of the best in the South Africa. You get better looking by the day. Andy, Andy, hang on, hang on. Andy O'Connor's got your uh, trophy, the jockey's trophy there uh, for the spring. Thanks very much, Andy. Gary, uh, probably a weight off your shoulders here. Uh, how did you feel before the race? Did you feel that uh, uh, if you went one, second or third, you'd have been happy? Yeah, I think in the first three, I would have been happy with that, Molly. Uh, 
you know, he's, I haven't done much with him. He's uh, as a prep run for the summer. Be yeah. that he'll be spot on for the day. So the way he he came through and the way he won a very exceptional run from him. Yeah. Because there's a lot more to come from him. Absolutely. Of course. Will you run him in the uh, November handicap, the charity mile? No, the charity mile is his yeah. next uh, mission, and then from there into the summer. Straight into the summer cup, and he'll be meeting a lot of these same horses then. Yes, and uh, look, he's, he, we know how good he is, so yeah. we've just got to have him fit on the day and uh, prep well. And I'd like to thank my partners, Amelia, and of course, uh, Dean and my staff back at home, they've all been working hard. And uh, Andrew Fortune, he's put a lot of effort into my yard, and uh, I think the string will turn around from now. It was probably a, a very smart move of yours to bring this guy up, because, uh, you know, he's a guy that doesn't panic, he knows uh, just when to go in top races, and uh, I think he's really enjoying being involved with this horse. Oh yes, uh, not to, to take anything away from Derek David, he, him and uh, Pierre got on very, very well. But uh, Andrew's got a lot of experience, and he's, you know, in the short period he's been with me, we've uh, changed a lot of things, and I think a lot of good things for the yard. And especially with the babies coming through, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Well, we wish you well. Here's Andy with your trophy there. Uh, thank you very much. Well done to Gary Alexander. Thanks, Emilio, well done there, Gary. Thanks. Now then, sir, great to see you again. I haven't seen you for a few months. You know, you never went to Durban with us. And, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I think it was a great move not to go because you've got a fresh horse on your hands for the new season. Exactly. The reason that we did all this one was because we wanted fresh horse and do the old season. And I hope yes. we meet you more often, Molly. Uh, well, I hope so too. <laughs> hope so. Of course, we've got the Summer Cup coming up and the, and the Charity Mile. Exactly. Lots to look forward to. And your horse looks on wonderful terms in the ring today. Yes. Um, we were a bit scared because obviously, you know, four months is four months. Yes. And I, I, I was happy if it was in the first three. Yes. But um, obviously, if the horse is a talent, is a talent. I cannot change yes, it. Yes. Uh, the way he's quickened up, that only a champion can quicken up like that. Exactly. Uh, you know, it's been always like that. He's a yeah. horse that when you see him going down, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And when he's on the race, you always worry. You say, is he going to make it or not? Yeah. But unfortunately, he's a little bit like a Ferrari. Yeah. When he put the second gear and then third and fourth, and he goes. I think he's got six gears, never mind five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, well, <laughs> Very well done, yeah. sir. Very well done. Here's your trophy from Andy O'Connor. Very well done there. But there you are, girls. And would you like to give these girls a little bit of a... Here comes Holly with a little bit of a gift for you guys. There you go. There you go. And uh, the groom... Well done, Emilio. Thanks for joining us. And uh, Andy, just give the, there's the groom's prize. There you go. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks to uh, Mr. O'Connor there for uh, uh, joining us uh, for the presentation there. And Piers Jordan has won the uh, Joburg Spring Challenge and won it in really exciting style. Uh, he's given a fillip uh, to our whole uh, season here. We look forward to him running in the Charity Mile and then, of course, in the uh, Sansui uh, Summer Cup. He's won second to Galanthus, a great run uh, from Tyron Zaki's uh, runner here with uh, Figgy in the Irons. And then came the third horse, number three, Captain Scott, which, believe it or not, kept us in the PA. Third to Captain Scott and the fourth home, number seven, Balsara.